This week on TechRap, Apple to launch new iPads at its October 16 event. HTC unveils its one-hand use re-camera. And our first look at Xiaomi's Redmi 1S. Hi, I'm Natasha Gutierrez, and this is TechRap. Apple gears up for another event just a month after its September launch, announcing the Apple iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, as well as the Apple Watch. It sends invites for an unveiling on October 16 at its headquarters in Cupertino. Various tech sites report rumors that Apple may be announcing new versions of the iPad Air and the iPad Mini. Earlier reports indicate the new iPad Air will be thinner, could come in gold, and will have a 2 gigabytes RAM. Not much detail has been reported on the iPad Mini. Is Facebook losing its cool factor? A new study from the research arm of investment bank Piper Jaffray says Facebook use among teenagers is down from 72% to 45% from spring to fall of 2014. The study did not cite recents, but Washington Post says, quote, the presence of adults on the site, as well as the typically high school plagues of oversharing and infighting, are potential reasons. Instagram, the photo and video sharing app that Facebook owns, tops the survey's list, followed by Twitter. A Piper Jaffray senior analyst says these services help teenagers, quote, create their own unique personal brands and seek peer affirmation. Fans of video game NBA 2K15 were both amused and disappointed as they posted photos on Twitter of their face scans gone wrong. Three weeks ago, 2K Sports teased a feature on its latest game, NBA 2K15, that allows users to scan their faces and play as themselves in the My Career mode. Fans eager to try out the new feature posted photos on Twitter of face scans that looked nothing like them. Some laughed it off, while others were really disappointed. Some YouTube users release instructions on how to have the most accurate face scans, and two things stand out. First, make sure you have good lighting. Second, allow the face scan to collect at least 3,000 reference points of your face for a more accurate render. HTC reimagines the way we use cameras after unveiling the Re. The Re camera looks a lot like a periscope, the telescope for submarines. The form factor allows the user to operate the camera on one hand and flip it easily so the user can put himself in the shot. But how do you review your photos and videos? HTC says the Re camera streams directly to your smartphone for quote, easy editing and one press sharing. Its 16 megapixel camera also shoots 1080p videos. It has an IPX7 rating which means it can withstand incidental exposure to water of up to 1 meter for up to 30 minutes. The camera is available for pre-order in the U.S. and retails for $199.99. Xiaomi's Redmi 1S hits the Philippine market Wednesday, a follow-up to its successful release of the Mi 3. While the Redmi 1S is not a flagship device, it packs a good combination of specs for its price. Rod Neil Catellus gives us a first look. We've only had a few days to play around with Xiaomi's Redmi 1S. But in that short amount of time, we're convinced this phone is a must-buy. There's no gimmick to the phone's form factor. It's your standard rectangular slab, and you can even say it looks boring. It's also a little bit on the heavy side. But with a body that measures about 5.3 inches, and a back that's tapered nicely from the phone's sides and edges, the Redmi 1S is easy to grip. The Dragon Trail glass also attracts a lot of smudges but that can easily be solved by a screen protector. The phone's strength is on the inside. It currently runs Android Jelly Bean with MIUI 5. The MIUI is hands down one of the better user interfaces on top of Android. The UI feels snappy and easy to get used to. From the notification shade, you can quickly shift to the toggles menu, giving you quick access to basic functions like screenshot, turning on or off Wi-Fi and data connection, or adjusting the screen's brightness. The MIUI also offers several themes you can choose from, a feature that can help make you feel like you're using a new phone each time you switch. 
An update to Android KitKat with MIUI 6 on top is coming soon, and that's even more reason to get excited. A key function of most smartphones today is to be our main point and shoot. The Redmi's 8 megapixel camera takes clear and crisp photos under low light. Be careful though, you may find your photos a little too bright when there's enough light in your area. Worry not, the phone's camera app lets you tweak settings to get the right exposure and color on your photo. At under 6,000 pesos or roughly $130, the Redmi 1S is easily the best smartphone in its price range. And while it only has 8GB of internal storage, it compensates with a micro SD card slot that supports up to 64GB. Overall, we think it's a worthwhile phone to have. One that won't put that big of a hole in your pocket, but still offer a satisfying smartphone experience. And that was TechRap. Follow Rappler in social media, join the conversation online, and send us emails. If you haven't yet, subscribe to Rappler's YouTube channel. And if you want to be where I'm standing now, join hashtag TechRap search. The links and details are on your screen. That's all for this week, folks. I'm Natasha Gutierrez. Thanks for dropping by.